Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created a J form for return book where the students can return their book. If you don't see that video, just go to the description and check out the link there. Yeah. So in this video, I'm going to show you about the statics. When we click on statics, it will open a new J frame where we can see the details of a student who, who issued their book or who returned their book. Uh, and this one is my last video on library management system. Okay, so it's time to start. Close this. Now we have to create a new Z frame first. Z frame statics statics. Now we have to increase the size of this to 700, 450. Okay, and we also going to event component so because whenever we uh, it will open, it automatically should be load. So that way, is click on that. Now we need to remove min, max, or close button from our frame so we click here to true undecoded and we have to also set the location where it will open so here we are writing for the x-axis 325 for y-axis 125 click on ok close now now we need to create and now we need a j level first okay here we are going to write issue book issue details sorry details and after that we need a table here table ah uh, it's too big so we need to increase to the this size and To do this okay now we have to decrease the size let me add more labels after that we are going to decrease this issue book after that return book details return details okay and we need another table here Okay. Now we have to decrease the size of this to 450. Okay. Now increase this size. Now make it small, little bit. Now we also need a button of close this. So here we are putting a button. Close, close, and we also need adding icon here. First, we are making it bold 14. Click on OK, and we are changing the color to this one. Okay, and we also need icon here. So click on this. I already added. X mark transparent background, so I'm actually going to add in here. Close now. We also need to increase the size of this, make them bold. Oh, sorry, I just took the color bold 14. Okay, closed now. Make it as fade. We have to change the color of this properties and we are changing the color to this one okay close now now it's just good now we need a image background so for that i'm putting a label here 
before putting we have to change this layout to the set layout as absolute layout okay after that we are going to put an image icon here click on icon select one two three four five six here click on ok close just put it on okay now we are removing the label name now i can see that our front head has been completed now we have to write the codes for the backend first we are going to write the codes for this action action form close we have we are going to set set visible box set visible false Open this now we have to write the codes for the title uh, for table 1 and table 2 so that it can be loaded before writing the codes first we need to download our s2 xml from jar file okay so i am downloading our s2 xml jar file from hacksmile.com we so just go to the site uh, google and just search for this and download it and let me show you i'm going to how to add this to in your library just click on library here here you get an option of uh let me show you make this go up side add add jar here click on this and here you have to select the path here why i'm adding r to xml here you click on you can see that background scanning of the project okay it will add it in our library just check it out r2 rs2 xml okay now we have to write the codes here now uh, here we have to first import the mysql and our package of provider connection provider import project dot connection provider okay after that we are going to write the codes for showing the details so here we are going to write try catch catch exception okay now we are going to write connection on connection provider dot get con statement statement st con dot create statement here and after that writing result set result set rs dot execute query okay so basically we have to write the query to perform inner join with three tables so this query is going to be a little bit big so we are directly going to write this so we have to select select issue uh, from table issue table the student ID after that we have to select the name of that student from a student table after that we are going to select the issue book id and all that we are uh, and after that we have to from inner join from student inner join with book and we are performing inner join with issue also issue table so i'm directly going to write this query to our to here okay oh it it write the codes for this one by one let me write this code okay select issue let me do this here you can see that I just write this same query here okay and this one is for the table one so let me write this query let me shed this value to table one 
dot set model model db util db util util utils oh sorry utils start result set model okay there we are going to write rs okay so in the same way we are also going to write result set for i uh, this one is copying again here here query here also and pasting here and there's a little bit change in the second query we just we are going to write here yes okay now this one is for quiz and rename result set okay and after that we have to write table to j table table to dot set model okay we have a t b utils dot result module here we are going to write rs1 rs1 okay now it will show okay if something went wrong it will generate exception so let's write a option and dot show it will show you. let me write it writing here connection connection okay now let me run this individually it will taking a little bit time so you can see that we have only return book details that user one return book one so let me perform more activities in this uh, let me do it from the start because our project has been completed let me click on login let me run this file Here you can see that our login page here we have to write the admin admin password click on login okay yeah we having going to add the new student okay here we are going to write the id three and the name we are writing sumit kumar father's name anil kumar okay and click on save Successfully updated. Now we are also going to uh, creating three name of the book is physics, okay, and publisher RS Singh, okay, and here we are writing price year 2019. Then click on save. Successfully updated. Now close this form. Open this issue book, and here we are third user book ID is three and he is issuing book for him and for this is we can issue for 29 two days only so when we click on issue okay it will showing this message yes okay uh, it will store in our database so let me open this statics oh i just did not connect this with our so let me connect this go, go to the home and here you have to write the code just event event action action performed so here you have to write new set visible new statics dot set visible true okay now let me run this file statics okay here you can see that the student id is 3 name is sumit and book id is 3 name of the book is 
physics issue date and due date you can see that all and uh, this is all about my library management project i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you